All right, I opened this email from my aunt, and after reading the first story, I guess you'd call it, I decided I had to share this with you, you know, fellow YouTubers, live, so to speak. Anyway, here we go. This is the email. It's time again for the annual Stella Awards. For those of you who are unfamiliar with these awards, they are named after 81-year-old Stella Liebeck, who spilled hot coffee on herself and successfully sued McDonald's in New Mexico where she purchased the coffee. If you remember, she took the lid off the coffee and put it between her knees while she was driving. Who would ever think you could get burned that way, right? Well, that's right. These awards are for the most outlandish lawsuits and verdicts in the U.S. You know, the kinds of cases that make you scratch your head. So keep your head scratcher handy. Here are the Stella Awards for the past year. Seventh place. Kathleen Robertson of Austin, Texas was awarded $80,000 by a jury of her peers after breaking her ankle tripping over a toddler who was running around inside a furniture store. The store owners were understandably surprised by the verdict, considering the toddler was her own son. Sixth place. Carl Truman, 19, of Los Angeles, California, won $74,000 plus medical expenses when his neighbor ran over his hand with a Honda Accord. Truman apparently didn't notice there was someone at the wheel of the car when he was trying to steal his neighbor's hubcaps. Fifth place. Terrence Dixon of Bristol, Pennsylvania, who was leaving a house he had just burglarized by way of the garage. Unfortunately for Dixon, the automated garage door opener malfunctions and he could not get out the garage door. Worse, he couldn't re-enter the house because the door connecting the garage to the house locked when Dickerson pulled it shut. Forced to sit for eight, count them, eight days and survive on a case of Pepsi and a large bag of dry dog food, he sued the homeowner's insurance company claiming undue mental anguish. Amazingly, the jury said the insurance company must pay Dickinson half a million dollars for his anguish. Fourth place, Jerry Williams of Little Rock, Arkansas, garnered fourth place in the Stellas when he was awarded $14,500 plus medical expenses being bitten on the bum by his next door neighbor's beagle. Even though the beagle was on a chain in its owner's fenced yard, Williams did not get as much as he asked for because the jury believed the beagle may have been provoked at the time of the bite because Williams had climbed over the fence into his neighbor's yard and repeatedly shot the dog with a pellet gun. Third place. Amber Carson of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, because a jury ordered a Pennsylvania, sorry, a Philadelphia restaurant to pay her $113,500 after she slipped on a spilled soft drink and broke her tailbone. The reason the soft drink was on the floor? Miss Carlson herself had thrown it at her boyfriend 30 seconds earlier during an argument. Whatever happened to people being responsible for their own actions? Second place, Kara Wal Walton, yes, Kara Walton of Claymont, Delaware, sued the owner of a nightclub in a nearby city because she fell from the bathroom window to the floor, knocking out her two front teeth. Even though Miss Walton was trying to sneak through the ladies' room window to avoid paying the $3.50 cover charge, the jury said the nightclub had to pay her $12,000. Oh yeah, plus dental expenses. Okay, here we go. First place. <laughs> this year's runaway first place Stella Award winner is Mrs. Merv Grazinski of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma who purchased a new 32-foot Winnebago motorhome on her first trip from a football game. Having driven onto the freeway, she set the cruise control at 70 miles per hour and calmly left the driver's seat to go to the back of the Winnebago to make herself a sandwich. Not surprisingly, the motorhome left the freeway, crashed, and overturned. Also not surprisingly, she sued the Winnebago company for not putting in the owner's manual that she couldn't actually leave the driver's seat while the cruise control was set. The Oklahoma jury awarded her, you better be sitting down for this one, 
$1,750,000 plus a new motorhome. Winnebago actually changed their manuals as a result of this suit, just in case Mrs. Graninsky has any relatives who might also buy a motorhome. Alright, in closing, the email says, Are we as a society getting more stupid, or are more members of Congress serving on juries these days? Alright, that's it folks. I hope you had a bit of a laugh. I know I did. Have a great week.